Today, families, I am going to show you the resource called DreamBox. This is a resource that we will be utilizing a lot during our math time. This is an individual resource, so students will not be engaging in this resource during our virtual class time learning, but when it is their own independent work time. So to access this resource, students will need to go on to their Clever account and click on Symbaloo. Once they're on Symbaloo, they're going to see Dreambox down here at the bottom right hand corner. They're going to click on it. From here, it will always take you to this page. This is all of the teachers in Marvin Elementary. My link is always right here. It's the little elf. So once you click on the elf, it'll take you to our class. From here, you will want to click your name. I'm created a student account to be able to show you what the student view will look like. Let's see. Now, since this is my first time on, I get to select a picture for my password. Some students have a picture that it was already created last year. If you don't know your password from last year, just try clicking on each picture until you figure out which one logs you on. I'm going to click the turtle because that's my favorite. Welcome to Dreambox Learning. Hey, down here. Before we start our adventure, let me introduce myself. Hi, I'm Stella. Pick the character you want to be. Click done when you are finished. Now, since this is my first time on, I get to create my own avatar. Some students already have their own avatar, but they can change it at any time. So I'm going to click, hmm, which kiddo would I like to be my avatar? Hmm. Well, I don't really see one that looks like me, so I'm just going to pick this one because it reminds me of my daughter, Isabella especially with the blonde hair. Oh, wow. See that? It's the adventure park. Let's go inside. Have fun exploring. There's so much to do here. Let's choose an adventure area to explore. Pet friends with Hemi and Bunny. Pixies with Mama. Pirates with Barnacle Beer. Dinosaurs with Professor Pickles. Where do you want to go? So now that you're in the adventure park, students can choose which adventure that they would like to engage in. Either way, you're going to be leaded or be led to specific math activities. Now I love pirates, so I'm gonna click on the pirate. Right. Our Barnacle Beard here. Welcome to Pirate School. Let's go have a wonderful pirate adventure. Welcome. Have fun exploring, matey. Now from here, I'm going to click on one of these dots, and these dots will take me to different math adventures. So let's start at the sunken ship. Find materials to repair the broken pirate ship. Would you like to play this story? And that's my mission. So anytime I'm answering questions, my goal is to be able to collect the materials so that I can fix the pirate ship. Arr, that's the spirit. Avast me hearties. Tis a good day. Me crew and I have salvaged the remains of an old ship bound for Davy Jones' locker. Take a look out yonder. Tis a good vessel, but as you can see, it needs a bit of work. Aye, uh, let's get to making this boat seaworthy. Alright, we need supplies before we can make repairs to the ship. It's your job to help us find the supplies. We'll need some logs, nails, fabric. Metal, rope, and some paint. Uh, 
So, my goal is to complete my mission in each one of these to collect the materials. So, let's start off with the rope. Click the games along the path to play them. If you play enough games, you'll earn tokens and find new adventure friends. You might even uncover the clue you've been looking for. If you need help, click the help button. Click the games along the path to play them. Now, one thing I do want to say is that if you ever need instructions repeated, you can always click on this button right here. Let's play. To extend the pattern, place animals in the blank spaces so that the pattern continues in the correct order. Hmm. Let's see. So I see a bird. Then I see one ladybug, two ladybugs, a bird, one ladybug, two ladybugs, a bird, one ladybug, two ladybugs. Hmm. What would come next in this pattern? Let me think. Well, I don't see any lizards or dogs or fish in this pattern, so I'm not going to click on any of those. I'm going to say it's probably either the bird or the ladybug that comes next. And I think it's the bird. And I'm going to click ladybug because I see the ladybug right after that, and then I see another ladybug. And when I think I'm done, I click the check. The back is bird. Ladybug. Ladybug. What comes next? So I will continue to play this game. And as I do, each time I get a couple steps further, you can see my pirate here, getting a couple steps further towards this prize. So the more I play, the more opportunities I get to get towards the prize that's at the end. Now, if at any time I need to exit and get out of this, I can click the back button to exit the game. Let's find some rope. Click the game on the path you want to play. And then, if for some reason I just didn't want to finish that game right now and I want to come back to it later, then I can always click on any other game that is available to me. Um, you may also see assignments that I have created for you. And those um, will be highlighted so that you'll know which ones are assignments and which ones I would like for you to complete first. Okay? Now, we're going to go ahead and go back to the home screen. So here on the home screen, again, remember, you can choose any one of these paths, and you'll find similar games and practice and activity. What I love about this program is it is differentiated, meaning that it is at your level. So if questions become too hard, the program recognizes that. And it'll take a moment to pause review some of the things that you already know, and help you learn some new things as well. I will also be able to see the results of any activity you complete, so I will know when something is too challenging, and I'll be able to help you with that as well. Now, when you're all done, you're going to click this X. This is to get out of Dreambox completely. When you get out of Dreambox, you'll see this page. Um, however, again, to access, Box, you'll always want to go back to Symbaloo because it'll take you back to the original page that had all of the teachers of Marvin on it. If you have any more questions about how to use Dreambox or what kind of resources that you can access on Dreambox, please let me know and have a wonderful day.